Hi, and welcome to 3dmotive.com. My name is Stephen G. Wells, and I'm a senior character artist. In this series, we're going to take a look at continuing on a series that we had worked on not too long ago. Uh, th this previous series was creating this next-gen ORCAD, uh, which some of you may remember. But it was just the start of the character. I mean, a head isn't much good if you don't have everything else that goes with it. I mean, it is even a whole head, as you can see. Uh, but that's okay. I had planned to create this as an entire character. Let's just show you what we're going to be dealing with in this particular series. We're going to do a quick append. And we are going to add in the armor for this particular character. This is what I call the Juggernaut Orc character. As you can see, he's pretty armored, looks uh, pretty formidable. Certainly not something I would run, want to run into anytime soon. Um, this was a lot of fun to create. I actually did all the modeling within 3D Studio Max. And of course, I'm going to do all the next gen details in ZBrush and then do the poly painting and everything else. And that's what we're going to be focused on in this particular series. We're going to be continuing on the next gen uh, detailing process that we'd started in the earlier series. But this is going to give us a finished character by the time we're done. This will be kind of a, some of it will be kind of crash course uh, because we're not going to be able to get into everything we want to get into for the series. I'm going to cover as much as I can for the basics. Some of it will be continuing on some of what we've started with with the next gen orc head when we were actually dealing with creating the, the details for the head itself. Uh, we do have an organic body underneath this as well. So obviously we're going to do some organics in here. We've got, if you can see in the back here, We've got several human skulls back there, and that actually shows you the scale of the character. He's a boss, I kind of think of a boss level character. This this guy would really be something in, a, in an in-game scene. And uh, we've got a lot of uh, uh, hard surface modeling to do in this particular series, which we haven't done before, at least in this series. Uh, so that should be a lot of fun for us as well. So we're just going to do a review on, on the model itself, on some edge loops. I want to show you some of what we're going to be dealing with as inspiration for the armoring, for skins, for the bones and things like that. Uh, and then we'll jump into starting with the next gen detailing in ZBrush.